Hello, YouTube! Now, an interesting announcement has come that has me quite uh, excited, and that would be the Kingdom Hearts HD collection. Now, whether this will be a digital release or whether this will be a retail release is a mystery at the moment, uh, or what the price tag will be, but it includes Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memories, uh, 358 over two days, um, and Birth by Sleep, all in one neat little package, hopefully, and that's just awesome. I mean, you're getting five great games, although I haven't played, um, Birth by Sleep or, uh, 358 over two, so it's just kind of like, hmm, I, I, like, I've seen footage of them, and I think it looks interesting, but I'm not 100% sure how that'll play out at this point. But they they seem definitely worth the the inclusion. Um, and, of course, I was kind of hoping that it would be Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, Final Cut, or Final Mix, but uh, given the fact that uh, Chain of Memories is in the deal as well, kind of says, no, it's not, because if it was... Uh, Final Cut, or Final Mix, sorry, uh, Chain of Memories would already be included with the f Final Mix version, but I digress, it's not so much of a big deal. The point is, at least we're getting five titles, which has not been seen by an HD collection yet. Uh, usually HD collections have had a max of three. Now, of course, I say it's got five games, but again, we don't know how that's going. It could go into two separate collections. It could go one for console versions, which would be uh, Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts 2, and then a handheld version, which would be, um, you know, Birth by Sleep and 358 over 2. Now, what do I mean by a handheld version and a console version? I mean, we'd get two collections. One has the handheld games, one has the um, console games. Now, all five of these games have been um, told as being for the PlayStation 3, um, the Wii U, and the PlayStation Vita. Now, that's uh, interesting that they wouldn't include the Xbox 360. I know the Xbox 360 doesn't do well in Japan, and that's what I kind of think this is more of a market for. It's because we want to know... It, 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 it'll probably come to North America, but the thing is, they're probably like... Well, given the fact that Xbox doesn't sell well over in Japan, they probably don't like Kingdom Hearts for Xbox. Is kind of what I'm thinking their mindset is. And for all intents and purposes, that would be incorrect, but given that most Xbox 360 users do prefer shooters over RPGs and, and so on and so forth, given the fact that the Xbox does not have a large variety of RPGs. It does have RPGs, but not a uh, wide uh, selection to say the least. Now, it would be nice if it was coming to the Xbox, but the fact is it's not. It's only being on those three consoles. The interesting thing about the Wii U version is, and this part is currently a rumor, and that is that the um, Wii U version of the games will connect with uh, the 3DS game. So it's kind of like well, that's interesting. Why would it do that? I don't know. It could benefit the sales of both games. I'm really hoping this gets a retail release, by the way, because I can tell you this. I did not like having to download Resident Evil 4 uh, onto my PS3. Uh, you know, 3 gigs is a lot of space, especially when you have as many games as I do for the console. I've got over 100 games on for my PS3. And I can't have all of them on my hard drive at once, because I also only have the 120 gig. And for the guy that's about to say, why don't you get a bigger hard drive? Problem is, um, hard drives cost money. Um, I know I can go get a laptop hard drive, but before I upgrade my PS3's hard drive, I'm going to upgrade my computer's hard drive first. So... There's that taken care of right there. I want, I, I have to get a bigger laptop hard drive for my laptop before I can even consider getting one for my PS3. Now, I know that Sony has released, you know, 
uh, hard drive kits for the PS3, and right now they're at 500 gigs, but again, they cost 100 bucks, which is not bad, but it's not good either, considering it's like, okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to buy a game, or do I want to buy a hard drive? And for those of you who say, well, why don't you just delete your games? Do you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to, like, take out, to delete a game's install, and then I want to play it again, and then I have to wait for that game to install again? Not to mention the fact that oh, I might have to delete some other games in order to play that one game. So, the bigger hard drive thing will solve it. The only problem is when I'll be getting that bigger hard drive. The whole point is, though, even if you look at most games on on uh, the PlayStation Network, especially these HD remakes, Resident Evil 3 was one of the smaller ones, but when you look at games like God of War and stuff like that, that's like 12, 14 gigs a piece per game, and that's just insanity, and God knows how many gigs each of those games, each of the Kingdom Hearts would take up. So it's just kind of like, why would I want, I, I, again, I prefer physical over digital, and I think Square will do the right thing by offering both for those that like the digital distribution and those like myself who like the physical retail copies. And it's going to be great. I can't wait for the title, and it's just going to be awesome. But I want to know your opinions about the Kingdom Hearts 8... HD collection. Um, how much do you think it's going to be? Uh, what are your thoughts on it being only for uh, PS3 and PlayStation Vita and uh, Wii U? Uh, do you think uh, it's a little late for Square to be coming out with this, or do you think it's the right time for them to come out with this? And also, speaking on that, I can pretty much say we can expect more Final Fantasy HD remakes because it is Final Fantasy's 25th anniversary. So expect big things with Final Fantasy, um, to say the least. Um, so write down in the comments below or make a video response on what you think about Square's plans for the Kingdom Hearts HD collection and what you may think that they may do for uh, their Final Fantasy's 25th anniversary. I may or may not do another video based on the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy. I thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time here on YouTube.